and welcome to this edition of Bison Talks Impact, coming to you from the Total Nonstop Impact Network. I am your host, Bison, and I'm joined today by one of the current members of the faction, the design, that is, of course, the big man himself, Con. Welcome to the show, Con. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. I'm really excited about, uh, you know, and speak to you today. Um, you know, I've been a bit of a fan of the big man ever since he's arrived at Impact. Um, obviously, I know he does some stuff in the past, but uh, we're really liking what you've been doing so far with Impact Wrestling, really enjoying it a lot. Um, so the first thing, of course, first of all, what I want to do is congratulate you on uh, recently signing your multi-year deal with Impact Wrestling um, and ask you why you decided Impact was a promotion you wanted to lay your hat, so to speak. Yeah, uh, well, first off, thank you for congratulating me. Um, I'm getting to the question. It's a great question, you know, why I wanted to land there. And I don't know if a lot of people know uh, about my career when I started off, but when I originally started off, I was actually um, doing enhancement jobs for TNA. Um, and so I got to work with guys like the likes of Jeff Jarrett, uh, Three Live Crew, Monty Brown. Um, and it was in Florida too at that time. So it was one of those things that I was always drawn to, to that to that specific company at the time. Um, and then, of course, it, I think it, what it really boiled down to, especially today, was in February, I actually had an opportunity to go there. And, um, you know, nothing was really going to come out of anything. It was just, hey, there's an opportunity. Would you like to take it? It was Tommy Dreamer. And um, so I always knew I wanted to go back to um, – the impact uh, brand. It was just a matter of when and, you know, the right time, right place. Um, and, you know, in February, I got to meet the entire locker room and it was hands down. Uh, it felt like home. Everybody there was so great to me. Um, and it was something I think I needed to uh, being around guys that I haven't seen for a long time time uh, being around Tommy who who I love dearly uh, he's just one of those guys that gave me everything that I have in this business um, and anything and everything that I've done is all because of that man and so you know to be around uh, somebody like him or Scott Demore especially um, him as well uh, Gail Kim Rhino um, and then of course like I get to be around guys like now Dango um, and Heath Slater, like, it just feels like home, you know. Um, and I'm around a lot of great people. Cody, Cody's been wonderful to me. Uh, Sammy, I've known forever. He was one of the few people I've ever let in my house, you know. <laughs> so my little brother. So it's one of those things where I'm around a lot of family now. And and that's kind of where I'm at in my life with a, with a wife and a child. Mm -hmm. So it, like it fits. It's a great fit for me. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, can I ask, did the recent worldwide distribution deal with obviously Design um, have an impact part of the fun um, on, on the decision also? Because having such worldwide exposure, did, did you I hear that? Did I lose you? I did. I got pieces of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll ask it again i've put um can i ask did the recent worldwide distribution deal with the zone have an impact pardon the pun on the decision also because having such worldwide exposure must help talents like yourself yeah i, I think so and and you know you're reaching a new market too and that's uh that's another great thing you know it's always about uh, growing exposure um and, and hit markets you know, for me, like, I know that from what I understand is that there wasn't too much impact going on out there. Um, and I think this is, you know, I think it's groundbreaking for impact because, you know, we get to make or have an opportunity to build a relationship, you know, with a new, uh, a new company. And uh, from what I understand, everything's been going great. And, you know, um, the zone has been, you know, above and beyond um, from, from what little bit I've had the experience to be a part of, 
So I think it's great for, for not only the performers, uh, for the company impact themselves, but I think it's great for the impact fan base as well, too. Yeah, because they get so much more exposure, which I think is awesome. Um, yeah. I think worldwide, we're talking like 174, 174 countries or something. Impact is now available in, which I think is amazing. Um, you know, when you when you consider, you know, uh, they, they can only be the second most exposed company in the world right now, um, which is which is awesome. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Um, let's have a little chat about how you started in the business. Um if I am right in saying you debuted as a professional wrestler back, I think, 2001, and I've had some pretty impressive trainers, including Norman Smiley, uh, Bill DeMont, uh, to name a few. Um, what can you tell us about those early days of training, and do you remember that debut match and how it all went? Oh, do I? Yeah. I, I still have it on <laughs> tape. <back. laughs> tape. Um, yeah, I. so I originally started um, – Man, it's, it's crazy story how it all started because it just, it's just, it's so weird because it's one of those things where it's just like right place, right time. And originally, um, how this all started was I was doing some landscaping work with a buddy of mine, Don Hernandez, and uh, he knew what he was doing. And I grew up as a big fan of GI Joe when I was a kid. Um, and I know this is gonna, this all comes together, I promise. And so he was like, hey, man, you know, uh, I've got some job, a, a job to do. Would you like to uh, come out and help me? And I was like, yeah, man, sure. Why not? You know, why the hell not? Like it's, you know, who couldn't use a couple extra dollars? You know, I was young. And so. So anyway, so I ended up going there and uh, I started doing landscaping work. And Lord and behold, Sergeant Slaughter came walking out of the backyard. Yeah. Uh, and so for me to have this journey start with a, with a childhood hero with Sergeant Slaughter, that was originally how it started. Um, and he just asked me, Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler? <laughs> and, and I said, no, I, I haven't. I loved it, but I wanted to play football. And, uh, you know, at that time the XFL was the hot thing. And, you know, he's like, hey, kid, you know, you should think about playing uh, or you should think about trying to get into wrestling. Um, and he so he kind of told me how to start. And, you know, then I went on my little journey and I found Rusty Brooks. I started in his backyard. Then I trained with Soul Man Alex G where I led into Norman Smiley. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it was crazy how it all started. And my first match was absolutely terrible. It was um, <laughs> a, a gentleman by the name of Eric Storm. And it's funny because he looked just like Lance. And uh, we went to a draw. I was absolutely terrified. I didn't want to go out the door, not the curtain. I had to open a door to go out to the ring. And, uh, and it, was a, it was at a bar. So everybody was, you know, hammered. And I was nervous. And Rusty looked at me and he said, kid, you all right? And I go, hell no, I'm not okay. I'm nervous as hell. And he says, well, kid, there's only one way to look. <laughs> Literally opened the door and pushed me right out the door. And then the door <laughs> shut. And everybody just stops and looks at me and I'm like, oh, damn, like this is going to be either really good or really bad. So <laughs> they went 20 minutes. Uh, my first lockup in wrestling history in a match, I uh, we went head to head, busted my nose open um, and I had to I had to go uh, another 19 and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. That's a great oh, story. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic now con you, you you got an early break with wwe when you were you were picked up for a deve uh, developmental around about 2005 where you made appearances for deep south um as well as several other uh, promotions on 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 their sort of kind of de developmental at the time but you also made some ecw house shows um now i can imagine you must have learned a hell of a lot um, around about that time and you know to set you in good step for the future have you got have you got anything you could tell us about that time yeah it was uh that that ecw time i got to be it was just a brief a brief piece of um and i got to be in the ring with some pretty cool people man uh stevie richards you know um i got to, i got to work uh bob holly too which was crazy i got to work tommy dreamer yeah. Um, I got to 
uh, Nunzio, um, Tony Mamaluke, you know, the FBI, um, Chuck Palumbo at that time. So I, I got to really, you know, learn from some guys that have done a lot in this business. And, you know, being the kid that's greener than goose shit, basically, it's just, you know, shut up and you listen and you try to yeah. retain as much information as you can. And I, I've been so blessed because I've been around so many great minds in this business that, uh, you know, I'm just beyond thankful. Um, and, you know, it, I mean, it started since day one. I mean, the first guy I met was Sergeant Slaughter, you know, all the way up to, to, to even to, to this very day. Like it's, you know, it's wild because, you know, impact, there's a lot of great minds there too. It just, you know, you just never get complacent. You never, you know, think, you know, everything, you know, I was always told the day you think, you know, everything you need to retire. Um, because even to this day, Ric Flair even said that, you know, he's always learning even today. And if he can say that, then nobody else should be able to say, oh, I know everything. No, exactly. Yeah, no, totally, totally agree with that. Now, after a stint um, on the Indies, you end up going back to WWE. Uh, you end up with NX doing it, uh, the NXT Tag Champions with the Ascension, which, of course, is how most of us sort of kind of like got to know you, um, NXT Tag Champs for quite some time if i remember rightly um but obviously we had some issues with the pandemic and all that kind of stuff we had a return to the independent circuit in 2020 where we saw some appearances um at one of my favorite independent promotions and we spoke about this actually on one of my last week which is pro wrestling revolver now you did this among others um but i did want to say and it's interesting you mentioned sammy earlier but did sammy speak to you at this point about possibility of coming to impact or how did your initial discussions come about with regards to joining impact wrestling yeah um so the day that you know um we were released and it made the uh, made the news i had several people reach out to me uh, several companies and things like that um sammy was one of them um sammy was just like yo dude we got to get you here and you know and obviously you know 2020 was just such a weird year for everybody, you know, yeah. and it really affected the wrestling business just in general overall um, from top to bottom, you know. And so for me, I was never like, oh, God, I got to hurry up and I got to go somewhere. It was I'm one of those people where I always feel like I'm always meant to be at the right place at the right time, you know, and it's uh, I don't ever force anything. And I know that where my heart was always at after obviously i left a good stint with this other company i knew where i wanted to go and it was just being patient and um and it, it's just, it was funny sammy and i we'd always text each other every now and then hit, we'd hit, hit each other up you know hey what's going on little brother we got some inside gags we like to throw at each other um but i mean look at it now like now we're working together right and it's like yeah. uh it, it's the coolest thing man to actually sit there and and um watch you know just work and be around family again there's nothing like it it's not even work it's just you're living your dream yeah 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 and it's nice and easy you get you want to go to work yeah you but can't wait not... for the next set of tapings right yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome there's such good news I, I love it there's so many uh talents i speak to that all pretty much say similar stuff you know um, about, you know, how, you know, the impact locker room is just so much like a family atmosphere and everyone's, you know, wanting the best for each other and they encouraging each other. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've been lucky enough to see, you know, some of that stuff myself um, on the odd occasion with impact. So I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I have a story myself when uh, I came over to uh, New York for a set of New York teams just before the pandemic. And uh, it was at the Melrose Ballroom. And I was down on front row and uh, I saw Sammy and I saw like uh, all the all the boys on the top balcony and they're all cheering everybody on this on the on the, you know. And to me, like that's one of the coolest things about impact as a promotion and why I probably love it so much as, as a as a, you know, as a fan and as a guy that does interviews like this and does podcasts and all the rest of it, uh, because I sort of kind of feel that. And it's great when I hear guys like you tell me things like this, because it it makes, you know, it makes me feel, well, that's why I support this promotion. So this is really cool. Now, 
You're currently a member of the of the faction, the design, which of course is led by Dina, who we, we hit on earlier, and of course Angels. And now more recently, Callahan is being initiated uh, currently. But uh, what are your thoughts on if Callahan has, uh, Callahan has what it takes to become a fully fledged member of the design? Or is this, you know, do, do, do you not, you know, do you think maybe he's, he's, he's uh, playing, a, playing a long game? What do you think? That's a good question. Um, you know, I think, you know, Cody, you know, taking the helms of this thing and, you know, doing a great job, I think. You know, I'm, I feel sure that he'd be able to sniff it out. You know, he pretty much is the uh, the the guy that says, you know, you know, this is what we need to do. And obviously, I, I'm the meat of this team, and it's uh, I'm the troubleshooter. I, I take care of business as well. So until until that line, you know, is crossed, which I don't think it would be, it'd be a little heartbreaking because you know, again, Sammy, I know personal. So of yeah. course it's. There's going to be that piece of me that, you know, but at the end of the day, we both know that business is business and we got to do what we got to do, for, you know, to, to continue with whatever it is or whatever our destination may be. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So, but, so fingers crossed that your friend does what you want him to do um, because you never know. You never know with Sammy. He's a, he's a, yeah, he's a revolver, shall we say. He's a revolver. That's for sure. He's a wild he's he That's is definitely, I'm definitely. Now I, I'm so excited to see what is next for for you, Callahan, and the design faction in the coming weeks and months. Um, with what is shaping up to be what I think is going to be a major storyline for Impact in 2023. Um, but I have to say, I'm afraid. I think this is all I've got time for today. I only got a certain amount of time, and I think we're pretty much there. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed listening to my very special guest, of course, of the designs uh, beast Con today, because I've uh, certainly enjoyed talking to him. Con, would you like to let the uh, TNI tribe know where they can keep up to date with all that's going on with you on the social media, or have you got any, um, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, merchandise sites or anything like that you want to promote? Yeah, well, you know, the first thing I'll say is you can always find me on any of my social media platforms, uh, big underscore con one, always look for the verification. Um, and tonight, do not forget to tune in to Access TV, um, 8 o'clock, uh, and it's 7 o'clock central uh, for tonight. Um, as, as far as uh, if you ever want to become, and I'm big on this as well, to become a professional wrestler, you know, feel free to hit me up, uh, me, myself, Jay Lethal, Matt Seidel, uh, and a gentleman by the name of David Mercury. We have a school. I love to plug the school. It's called the Wrestling Lab. Yes. Um, and that's a big deal for me because I love watching kids try to live their dreams. Um, if you have anything or any, any way that you want to do that, hit me up on my social media platform or at the Wrestling Lab. That's fine with me as well. Um, tune in tonight. And watch us kick ass. That's what we do best. I can imagine. No, I'm, I'm waiting. I, I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, not only can you get to see it on Access TV, but you can check it out on YouTube on the Insiders um, subscription. You can do that as well. It's also available on Impact Plus. Um, I believe it's also obviously available on Zone. We were talking about that earlier. Um, uh, and of course, the Fight Network in Canada. So it's available right. all over the place, all over the globe. Oh. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Um, <laughs> but there you go. Don't forget to follow the Bison on Twitter at Lord Bison 45 and make sure you follow Total Nonstop Impact at We Talk Impact, which is available on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you listen to your favorite shows. Um, and of course, We Talk Impact. That's what we do. We're not interested in anything else. We Talk Impact. So if you're an Impact fan, then Impact, uh, Total Nonstop Impact is for you. Now, please make sure that you leave me a thumbs up. And if you're new to our content and you like what you're watching, then please consider hitting that subscribe button too. It's very important, guys. Take care, everybody. Until next time, I've been Bison. This has been Bison Talks Impact with my extremely special guest and a really nice guy, the Designs Monster, gone. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs>